Hey everybody, it's Allie. This is a member requested video. So if you need help, definitely comment down below. Let me know your questions or feel free to join my Facebook group and we can chat there. Okay, let's jump right into it. I'm going to be showing you today how to use the TDEE calculator to calculate your calorie deficit specifically for you so that you know that you're in a calorie deficit. So um, I'm going to go to the website. I'm going to enter in my information and you're going to notice that I'm going to leave the activity level at sedentary. You are not going to enter in any exercise that you're doing. We're just gonna pretend like it doesn't count. Here I am checking my weight because I don't remember what I weighed the last time. Okay, now that we've got that entered in, um, you wanna leave it as sedentary, again, even if you're doing exercise. This is gonna give you your base stats. The first number that's provided to you is your maintenance calories. These are the number of calories that you would need to consume in a day and per week in order to maintain the weight that you are currently. Now, we want to be in a calorie deficit, so we're going to scroll down. I'm just showing you all of the information that's available here. It gives you a range for a quote-unquote ideal weight. It gives you a BMI score. It shows you advertisements. <laughs> okay, so down here, again, this is for maintenance. So it gives you a breakdown of protein, fats, and carbs. You're going to click on the cutting tab. And cutting is just a fancy way of saying we want to make sure that we're in a calorie deficit so that we lose weight. So it's going to provide you with three options as far as macros go. And again, these are the maintenance calories to maintain the weight. Scroll down, click on the cutting tab, and that's going to tell you your um, 500 calorie per day deficit which if you're looking for the number, it's that little bolded number, the 1524 right there, which is specific to me. So you'll wanna go in and enter, enter your information. You're also going to want to update this information from time to time so that as you continue to lose weight, right, you can continue your calorie deficit for that weight level. And it gives you options so that if you need help getting started with the balanced diet and you're looking to know, you know, how much protein, how many fats, how many carbs, this is a really great tool that gives you those options. The important thing that you want to remember is that your body is not meant to be in a caloric deficit for a long, long period of time. So you will have stalls, you will have weeks that you don't lose weight, but if you are tracking your calories, you are in a caloric deficit and you're incorporating healthy um, nutrition and healthy lifestyle, right, movement into your health journey, then you are absolutely going to see results. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it helps you to figure out your caloric deficit. And if you have questions, make sure you put them down in the comments below because I'll make a video just for you to answer your question. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. And don't forget the link to my Facebook group is down in the description box in case you're looking for a support group. We would love to have you. It's positive only. And we'll see you when you get there. And as always, be kind, rewind.